All right, so now that we have our object set up with the standard fields that we got along with the object, let's try to show it off here on the COVID tracker application, right? Now, if you see, we were able to add the contacts tab here by editing the COVID tracker application, right? Let's do something similar. So how do we update our app? So how do we update our application? We type in apps here. Let's go to app manager and let's go to the COVID tracker application. Let's click on edit. And under navigation items, let's search for COVID count. Okay, we don't see anything. Let me just type in COVID. Okay. And if I type contacts, we're able to see contacts, which is here, right? So it looks like we don't have a navigation item created for COVID count, right? Now, remember this thing that whatever is standard, Salesforce takes care of almost everything that you need that needs to be set up. Like here, if you see the contacts tab was already there for the object. But now that we have created a custom object that's COVID uh, count, we'll actually have to create uh, the tab, right? So let's go back here and let's click on setup. So for any custom object, you need to create your own tabs. We need to do it ourselves. So on the quick find box, we'll simply type tabs, right? And I can just go to this user interface section and click on tabs right here. And here you have some options wherein you can create a custom object tab. You can create some external web uh, URL related tabs, some visual force and lightning related apps, which are related to custom development. So let's go ahead and click on the new button here for custom object tabs, right? We want to create a tab for the COVID count. So you see under the object dropdown, since there's only one custom object, it's coming up uh, as COVID count. Let's select a type st tab style. So here we can just select a random tab style and click on next. So if you see, we need to mention whether this particular tab will be visible to profiles or not. So if we want to apply just one tab visibility, it will be set as default on for all the, all the profiles. Now, what does default on mean? Default on means it will be available for all the profiles. And if I just change it to default off, it means that it will be available, but it won't show up on the top navigation bar for them. All right. And what about tab hidden? That means that they won't be able to see it at all. All right. So let's set it as tab hidden for now and let's go ahead and just provide that uh, tab access to the system administrator as default on as well as the support manager guy, right? These are the two profiles we'll be leveraging. Let's click on next. And here it says, which application do you want to include this tab in? So we don't want to include this tab in all these applications. So rather, we just want to include this on our COVID tracker application. So let's uncheck the include tab and let's go down below and see where's the COVID tracker applications right here, right? Let's click on this and click on save. So now that we have the COVID counts tab created and saved, so you see the COVID counts tab is coming up automatically here. Right. So now you have contacts and COVID counts. So if you wanted to create a record, you could just click on the new button, create a new contact record. All right. You would have all these fields, which are standard. And if you wanted to create a COVID count record, you would just click on the new button here. So right now we don't have any fields in the object. Let's go ahead and create some custom fields so that the user can input some values. All right. But before that, let me show you one thing. If I just click on new and if I just click on save, you'll see that CC hyphen triple zero one record was created. So you see the auto number is auto is getting created with the sequence one. Now, if I go ahead and go back to COVID count and click on new again and just click on save, the second record is getting created with the number two, right? So this is how the auto number works. If we had set it to the data type text, we would have to enter a value here and then click on save. This won't be auto number. And alongside that, if you see owner is Himanshu and who modified it last and who created it, uh, uh, who created this record, the timestamp along with the username is available here. These are the audit fields, right? But we'll need something more than this. And we'll, we'll look into, uh, you know, the number of active cases, what is the entry date, number of recovered cases, uh, what is the cat day category? Was it a red day? Was it a green day or, and all of it. So we'll create custom fields for that. Let's look into that in the next section.